the spring of your life, in the spring of your life, you kiss all the girls, but you don't take a wife. You're tall as a mountain and swift as a stream, and tater is waiting if gold is your dream. In the summer of life, there's so much to be done, but always the search for a place in the sun. A time when a woman is live to a man, if love doesn't hold him, then nothing else can. It is autumn, the world of the yellowing leaf, of chance has gone by, and the hurt and the grief. It gnaws at your innards, for gone is your prime, and all you have left is a handful of time. It is winter as seen by the snow of your hair and dwindling moments that someone can share. Unless you come back and admit you are lost, how bleak the December, how bitter the frost. You have four seasons, four seasons to make your dreams come true. A man's lifetime has four seasons, that's all God gives to you. I just can't imagine what it was like when we got the news back home that gold was discovered in California. Folks near went crazy. They just picked up their belongings and headed west. Thousands of them, young and old. By boat, wagon train, riding, walk. Any way they could get to where the gold was. It wasn't easy like they said in the posters. There were rivers to cross, mountains to climb, and Indians. Some didn't make it. But most did, because they all had the same dream. Go. I'd like to tell you about a friend of mine, Tracy Powell. Him and me came out from Missouri when the rust was just beginning. We was young then, in our 20s. And we both had the fever. Bad. I thought to be more of a town, though. No eating places or nothing, not even any streets. But we made it, just like you said. 2,000 miles. If you want that gold, you can keep it, boy. Just get to the diggings. 
If you want them nuggets in your hand, it's all right with me. <laughs> Only worth a couple of cents. Can't take much out in one day. You'll find that out. I guess I didn't see where I was going, mister. Nobody around here sees where they're going, especially the first couple of days. You all right, Tracy? Yep, that's it. A river of gold. Sure, lots of folks down there. Tell me, uh, how long you figure it's gonna take before you get rich? Two weeks, maybe? <laughs> Three? Well, don't you do no digging, mister? No, I'm just sitting here. Much easier that way. You keep a sitting there and all you'll end up with is calluses. <laughs> <laughs> maybe so, maybe so. Just look at them down there. Breaking their back. Just for feed. It's like them ants there. Thousands of them. All of them doing the same thing. Crawling up the hill, then down the hill, then up again. Can't never get anywhere that way. Don't you worry none, mister. We've been a long time coming. We aim to make it. What makes you think you're so different? Because we ain't no ants. Come on, Bert. We got some digging to do. You fellas need any equipment, or your dust changed a coin. Just remember the name's Haver. Willis Haver. Only got six more of these gold diamonds left, my friends. Absolutely sure far. All you gotta do is walk along, watch the little needle point, and there you are, wham, a mother loaf. Now, I know what you're thinking, my friends. You're thinking if this fella's the dog gold smart, why don't he go out and find his own gold? Well, I would, but I got sore feet. Just think of it, my friends. No more scratching and digging for gold. This little gold diamond will find gold for you. It not only finds gold, but it cures rheumatism. Yes, sir, my friends. After you find a million dollars in gold, you ain't got no more rheumatism. Ah! I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm not asking 200. I'm not asking 150. But for a small sum of one. Hey, take it easy, man. Took us all day to pan that dust. Took me all day to cook this grub. How about that, Tracy? Most a whole day's work just to eat once. Howdy, Mr. Haver. Hey, you know what? A couple of men working down from us just a bit. Took out $80 today. I seen it. You know what? Instead of using pans, they got a box-like thing they rock back and forth. Not bad, huh? Just like the poster says back home, go west, reach down, and pick it up. I'm sure glad you and I joined up, Tracy. $80. The way I figure you and me could do that easy. And that sure beats working back in Missouri. There's some doing better than that. What are you aiming to do? $80 a day ain't nothing. There's ways a man can get real rich, Bert. How? That's what I'm aiming to find out. Howdy, Mr. Haver. Me and my partner's wondering if uh, you had one of them boxes you rock back and forth. We figure we can do better if we have one of them. Be it, kid. Your tent, mister? Yeah. What's your name, boy? Powell, Tracy Powell. Hmm. Tracy here ain't like the rest of them. He's gonna hit it big. <laughs> ain't that right, boy? How'd you do today? We took about uh, $80. You see that, Sam? Not many around here could do that the first day. Come on, Hamer. I gotta catch up on my drinking. Your gold, mister? Man must be a powerful man to take that much gold. Excuse me for asking, but you get that gold out of the river? You better get out of here, boy, before you get your nose caught someplace where it hadn't ought to be. I ain't aiming to get you mad, mister. Just asking a civil question. You don't have to answer it. 
Except in, uh, I know he didn't get that gold out of the river. Oh? He knows you didn't get the gold out of the river. <laughs> you aren't a good judge of human character, Sam. Wilkins here a little moody when he ain't had a drink. Powell didn't mean nothing, did you, boy? He was just eager. Eager like a thin coyote. You know, I don't see it do no harm telling us where you work in the gold. Who knows, Sam? Powell here might make just the partner that you've been looking for. I didn't mean to ride you. I respect a man's got sense enough to make out better than the rest of us. How about me buying you a drink, Mr. Wilkins, and you and me can talk? That's a good idea, boy. Bar is the best place to work for a couple of fellas getting to know each other. You care to join us, Mr. Haver? I'll be along. I still got some arithmetic to do. You know, I was wrong about you, Mr. Haver. You keep setting you're gonna get rich. Maybe I was wrong about you, too. You better get out there before Sam drinks the bar dry. I'm gonna get me a drink. Tell I had all that gold's name Wilkins, Sam Wilkins. You never seen so much gold. I tell you, you don't drink. Maybe it's time I started. I got business to talk for both of us. Well, count me out. The fellow was showing me that rocker. Well, he says Wilkins is no good, and everybody knows that. So, well, just stay away from him, Tracy. We'll be all right once we get that box built. And end up like the rest of them around here? I tell you, I've seen that money. More money than I've ever seen in my life before. I'm gonna get some of it. Well, last fellow went out with Wilkins got himself killed. Now, you ain't that kind. I've known you since we was kids. We ain't kids no more. Oh, I still say you ain't that kind. Maybe not. But one thing's for sure. I didn't come all this way to break my back just to fill my belly. You in or out? Out. Trace. Watch your step. I'm a fixin' to. So the lice crawling up your back. I can't think of a better way of killing them. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy went to look for the gold. He didn't know then what the hills were going to mean to him. But he soon found out. Quite a claim you got here. Oh. A lot of gold. Want a cigar? Gracias. Got a match? fools down by the river, scratching for a little dust. You just keep your eye on a Mexican. He'll show you where you can get real hunks of gold, right in these hills. I wasn't figuring on no claim jumping. Well, what's the matter? You want to come out of here with some gold, didn't you? You can't have a weak stomach and get rich. If you don't like it, boy, you can get out of here right now. Let's go to work. Man, now you're catching on. Out here, there ain't no rest in certain Sundays. Because some of us are scared of the Lord, and the others have at least one day to do some real drinking. <laughs> well, Tracy began to find out what some men will do to get rich quick. I don't think Tracy was bad, even though he went along. Sometimes gold will do strange things to a man.
Bert, let me buy you a drink. No, thanks. Thanks, sir. How about you, Mr. Aver? After all, I got you to thank. Hadn't been for you, never would have met Sam. Never would have met Sam. Never would have had the, all those little sacks of dust. Come on, Bert, let me buy you a drink. Oh, Tracy, I... Oh, ain't no reason to be sore. Ain't you and me pals? Didn't we start out from home together? Sure, I just saw my chance and took it. Ain't no reason to be sore. Did I tell you about Mr. Haver? He's got a strong box. Great big strong box made of iron. Full of money. Well, we're going to empty that strong box of money with what me and Sam dug. We'll buy everybody a drink. Yes, sir, with what me and Sam dug. Just reach down there, empty it right up off the ground. Great big chunks, beautiful. Hold them up to the sun. They shine in your face. Thousands of tiny little mirrors. Not like the rest of them, man. Say, Mr. Aver. <laughs> we'll see. You and Wilkins split up the dust yet? Gonna buy everybody a drink. Gonna walk up to Mr. Wilkins and say, it is now splitting up time. Gonna buy everybody a drink. Don't go away. Well, well, well. But I'm a little old partner from Missouri, Tracy Powell. Gonna buy everybody a drink, need a little money. What do you say we split up the dust? Sure, kid, sure. Right now. Pretty fair wage, if you ask me, for two weeks' work. My share was half, Sam. Look, boy, take it and move on. Half the gold is mine, Mr. Wilkins. Get out of my way. Why'd I leave Missouri, Bert? Why'd I come over 2,000 miles? For gold? That's right. And I had it, didn't I? I had it right in my fist. Half that gold's mine, Mr. Haver. You was there when we made the deal. How bad are you on? I'd be obliged to have your gun, Mr. Haver. Get yourself killed. Don't do it, Tracy. It ain't worth it. The gold ain't worth it. Never killed a man before. Care to change your dust, Mr. Powell? Yeah, I guess uh, you were too busy to see that look on Wilkins' face. <laughs> yes, sir, I, I believe you're right. I uh, think you're going to make it. This time, I'm going to let you keep all of this. Seeing as how you did so good with Wilkins. Only well, usually I get my share. <laughs> Just remember that. Take it easy, take it easy. Well, here you are. Almost $1,900. 
Not bad for a beginning. You should have told me Wilkins was working for you. I'm saying it now. What's the difference? Maybe you didn't hear. I want you in with us. I like you. You got nerve. Why, a man like you and a man like me, we can make a fortune. Don't be a fool, boy. Maybe it's just because I don't like you, Haver. All right, you'll wind up scratching just like the rest of them. Maybe so, but I didn't come all the way out here just to end up thieving. All right, boy. I thought you had it, but I guess you ain't. <laughs> no hard feelings. Don't worry about me, Haver. I'll get along all right. The one you better feel sorry for here is Wilkins. He's going to be your partner. Wilkins was working for Haver. He wants me to go in with him. What'd you say? I guess you was right, Bert. I ain't his kind. Let's quit, Tracy. Forget about the gold. A whole new world's opening up. Other things, other ways to do besides the gold. There ain't nobody gonna get rich around here unless he wants to be like that fella Haver, or unless he wants the gold so bad he's willing to do most anything for it. Man don't need no mountain to live out his life happy. You ain't seen it up in the hills like I have, Bert. It's true, like they say. And one day, a man can make himself enough to live like a king the rest of his life. You got a sickness, Tracy. Can't you see it? You got a sickness. And you'll either die from it or end up partners with the devil. There ain't no in between. And you and me better have a drink. Because you're looking at a man that's figuring on going straight to the devil. The town grew. I got started in the dry goods business. Did pretty good, too. I didn't see much of Tracy during those years. Most of the time, he lived in the hills and only came into town once in a while whenever he needed another steak. I was glad to help him. Business was good. It was about this time that Tracy met Julie. Right from the beginning, they fell in love. I, I never could understand how a wonderful girl like Julie could wait all those years, but she did. One summer day, he did come back. With a rock in his hand and love in his heart. Looking for my shirts. Are they ready yet? Tracy. Tracy. I was worried you'd found yourself a man. I kept thinking Julie'd be gone, but you ain't. You waited. Yes, I waited. I said I wouldn't, but I waited. Oh, Tracy, I love you. This time was the hardest. The nights never ended. I worked until I could drop. Anything to keep from thinking. I'd lie on the ground at night, came near driving me crazy, thinking about you, too. I said I wouldn't wait. And then I thought, he's got to get it out of his system. And when he does, he'll come back to me. I tried to lie to myself. <laughs> Oh, you should have heard the things I said to myself about you. Ever since I can remember, I've been waiting to make a home. Ohio, Kentucky, in Tennessee. I remember the day my mother and I started to put up the first set of curtains on the farm. 
when my father came with a wagon. The stories of California. He must have been a one year pa, from what you told me. He had ambition. I bet if he'd have lived, you and your ma had had everything. I never could understand what made her stick with him. She loved him. Yes, she did. I mean to have that home, Tracy. The one my ma never had. I'd work my fingers down to the stubs for it. For a place of my own. To love a man and to bring up children in a proper way. You understand that, Tracy? You understand what I want? I'm gonna give it to you, Julie. When I'd come near to giving up, I'd, I'd think of you. I'd say to myself, it ain't just for me, it's for Julie. Everything's for Julie. And then I'd get to the next rise and I'd look up, and the climbing was that much easier. And now I've found it. And I'm gonna give you everything that a woman like you should have. <sighs> All I care is your back now. We're going to get married now? You better get me that clean shirt. Man can't get married around here without a clean shirt. That's a new law they passed since they got so much civilization. <laughs> get it. Oh, you better get a new one. Otherwise, the preacher will think he's marrying me to a bear. I never did see so much dirt. Congratulations, Trace. Bert. Bert, how's the old businessman? Fine, fine. By gum, you're gonna be proud of me. Anybody be proud of getting a girl like Julie? Yeah, sure, but I'm talking about another Julie. This one's all rock and dirt, with the prettiest yellow streaks running through it you ever did see. I tell you, Mr. Killian, you got yourself 25% of the richest strike ever made around here within 200 miles. That's mighty generous of you, Tracy. But... Now, wait a minute. You stake me. You're going to get your share. Will you see her? She's over at the assayers now. All written up, legal and all. The Julio, I call her. I ain't staking you this time, Tracy. Bert, you don't understand. Will you see the rock? Come on over the assayers with me. Like as not, she'll run 120 to the ton. All we got to do is follow that vein. You, uh... You told Julie you're going out again? Don't be a fool, Bert. I know what I got this time. You knew last time, too. This time I won't be waiting. You'll have to choose now. Bert, you gotta stake me just this last time. If it don't work, I'll quit. I swear it. Julie, you gotta see. I, I want what you want, a home like you said. Then don't go out again. You won't quit. You got no sense. I told you that, Julie. He's got no sense. She was my girl. You knew that, too. Yeah, I knew it, and that's why I ain't staking you this time. I'm gonna prove you're not for her. You got no sense. I don't need you. I'll get me a stake somewhere else. I see how waited, you and him. Get out! Get out! It's all right, you can wait outside. Be with you in a minute, pal. This looks like a mighty promising claim, Sam. You'd uh, better look into it. Howdy, Tracy. It's been a long time. Sam here says that you registered a claim up on Dorado Ridge. Mighty promising. He says assays better than 120 to the ton. Oh, that's all right. You can talk in front of Sam. He don't bear you no grudge, do you, Sam? How'd you find out about the claim? The assayer works for me, and so does the registrar. In this business, it's necessary to know everything that's going on. Well, what can I do for you, Tracy? If there's anything I can, I will. I'm glad you saw fit to come to me. A man learns by experience, I guess. I need a stake, Haver. It's a rich claim, I know it. I ain't expecting you to stake me without getting something in return. I'll pay. Tracy, uh, you don't understand. You see... I'm running a bank now. It makes a little difference. It's not just me. There are others in San Francisco I have to account to. 
I can't invest the depositor's money in a claim without knowing what's in it first. How can I know what I got unless I get the equipment to find out? <laughs> Just a vicious circle, ain't it? Can't get the money unless you know what you have. Can't tell what you have unless you got the money to find out. <laughs> well, it's like I said. It's a business now. Man don't stand a chance by himself. Unless he's uh, willing to go along. How much do you want? All of it. That's the way it works now. Man that's been up in the hills maybe wouldn't know. We put up the money, we work the claim, and we give what we think it's worth for finding it. Every day somebody comes in here with a rock. Isn't that so, Sam? We can't get enough machinery to work what we've already got. It's a business now, Tracy, just like I said. Powell. Sam here took the trouble to file all around you. You won't get water or nothing. Unless you come in with us, claim ain't worth a cent. We've been taking extra special trouble to watch you, Tracy. Isn't that true, Sam? Just for old times' sake. I'm letting you clear out this time, Tracy. Won't nobody touch you, I'll see to that. Funny thing about you, Tracy, you're, you're different. <laughs> you're different than Sam here and me. Trouble is you want that gold so much, you're gonna come crawling. And I'll be here when you do. Stop looking for the gold. Help me, Julie. Help me. 